Concern continues to grow tonight over that controversial study surrounding the Francis E. Walter Dam. The recreational community greatly benefits from how that water is used. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler shows us a possible impact downstream. This is what we love to hear, you bet. We dream of that sound. Kenneth Powley is the vice president of the Lehigh River Outfitters Association. Along with others, he represents four white water rafting businesses up and down the Lehigh River. It's a $37 million a year recreation economy based on those recreational releases. There's over a thousand jobs just in the rafting industry. The release happens at the Francis E. Walter Dam in Luzerne County by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Through a reevaluation study, the Corps by 2022 will determine if decreasing the amount of water released from the dam is necessary for future drought conditions downstream for places like Trenton, New Jersey. Powley says if that happens, the dam will become a storage tank with no water being let go to support rafting businesses, fishing, or the health of the water. Every gallon of water that is locked up in permanent storage is a gallon of water that can't be released for recreation. Rafting professionals believe if the water dries up, this industry in this part of the area will be nothing. Between April and mid-October, 100,000 thrill seekers visit Carbon County for its whitewater rafting. Recreation has become such a huge part of this region, uh, the effect would be really dramatic. The rafting industry in Carbon County could see a ripple effect in the next two to three years. In Kidder Township, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. The Francis C. Walter Dam is drained each year around Columbus Day for the winter, and then it fills back up from melting snow and April showers.